Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. My name is Tom Tompkins. I'm the host and the founder of Vehicle Visionary, and today I'm at Orr Ford in Stonewall, Louisiana. They've been kind enough to loan me this 2019 Ford Raptor for the day. I've been wanting to review one of these for quite a while, finally get to do so. I'm gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna take it out on the road. But for those of you who saw in the title of this video that I was gonna give some information about the possibility of a V8 returning to the Raptor, don't worry, you don't have to wait until the end of the video to get that information. I'm gonna share it right now. Supposedly there is a V8 coming that will rival the Hellcat engine in performance. That's gonna be well over 700 horsepower and will make the Raptor possibly as early as 2021 the most powerful truck in its class. Absolutely incredible. I hope that happens sooner than later and when it does, you can be guaranteed I will show you that very truck here at Orr Ford on Vehicle Visionary. So let's talk a little bit more about the Raptor that we have right now. Now obviously the Raptor is meant to be very serious as an off-roading truck. You can tell by the off-road tires and just the overall appearance and stance of the truck. When you start looking at just the headlights, I really like the way they're designed. They're going to be nice and bright for you when you're out at night. Most likely you won't have any light where you take this after dark. And of course, if you happen to get stuck, you've got tow hooks on the front and the rear of the Raptor. And you also have skid plates. I like that feature as well. And just the overall look, this truck is a little bit wider than the average F-150. I'll put the dimensions on the screen for you. You have a front and rear camera, and I do like the fact that this does have a front camera washer. All you're gonna do to use that is bring that up on your screen, on the infotainment screen, and push the button that you would normally use to activate the windshield wipers and the windshield washer fluid for your windshield and the front camera washer will do its thing for you. Additionally, there are some extra lights here on this truck. I'd like to see Ford maybe add this on some of the other trucks, but I know this is to set the Raptor apart, but you've got the lights here above the grill, these nice little LED lights. And also here on the front, just right on the outside of the headlights on the outside part of the fender, and you also have the same thing on the rear, right underneath the tail lights as well. Now, obviously, this particular Raptor is powered by a 3.5 liter V6, but 450 horsepower and 510 foot pounds of torque, definitely no slouch. Zero to 60 in just a tick over five seconds, and it's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It also comes standard with a 36 gallon fuel tank. So you're gonna have plenty of fuel for any kind of adventures you plan to take. When you go off road, you can go a pretty long way and still get back to the gas station before you head home without any worries. Now, obviously off-road tires and off-road shocks are going to be standard with the Raptor, as well as these absolutely stunning wheel lip moldings on the front and the rear, the cast aluminum running boards. These aren't the automatic running boards, but not something you really need with this particular truck. They're gonna stay in place right there, but one thing I really like about this is the fact that they have basically what I would call a grip tape finish, kind of like what you would have on a skateboard. That's probably just the finish on there. I think it was actually sprayed on based on what I can see right there, but it's just kind of a coarse finish that allows you to be able to get in and out without slipping. I really like that. Of course, you have power folding side view mirrors, blinkers in the mirror. You have blind spot monitoring as well in the mirror, so you're gonna get an indication right there as well as a sound in the cab. And of course, you do have a power tailgate. You can open it with the button right here underneath the handle that you would grab a hold of to open the tailgate. You just push that button or you can also use the remote right here as well that has lock, unlock. You have automatic start and the tailgate button there and a panic button also. Like I said, this does have a bed liner in it, the same finish as the running boards on the side, so you're not gonna slip when you jump up in here. And you know what, it is kinda high up, that's right. There is a step right here that has become a very standard feature here on these Ford trucks. Glad to see that, especially on this particular truck because it does sit a little bit higher than your average F-150. You also have dual LED lights in the back of the bed. They're gonna help you to see after dark. You've got four tie down points and a power rear window. And the button for that is just above 
the mirror in the interior, the rear view mirror in the interior of the truck. So getting into the back seat of the Raptor, and really all four doors, very easy. There's a grab handle at each door, and all you're gonna do, of course, grab that, hop in, nice and easy. Super comfortable back here. You have not only cup holders on the rear of the console, but also here in the fold down armrest, you have dual air conditioning vents, as well as heated seats. You also have USB ports, a 12 volt connection, and a power outlet. In addition, your rear seat passengers are going to enjoy the panoramic sunroof. Okay guys, I am just literally getting out onto the road with the Raptor now. My first first time driving it. I didn't even set the mirror there. Boy, I tell you what, this thing is awesome. If you're looking for a truck that's going to pull well, this is definitely it. And I don't mean as, as far as the weight that it will pull, but on that subject, it does pull up to 8,000 pounds and has a payload of over 1,353 pounds. So pretty impressive, I must say. But obviously the acceleration of this truck is one of the most important features. But I can tell just from driving it, it's, you know, the truck is a little bit wider. I, my daily driver is a Ford F-150, so I'm pretty used to that particular size of vehicle. But I can tell this is a little bit wider than what I'm used to, but it's not too bad. I don't think it'll take a person who drives one of these for the first time much time to get used to it. You'll just want to pay attention to what's going on around you, because that's where the real challenges could be in the respect of, of dealing with areas that are maybe kind of tight and you may be used to it in another truck if you had say just a stock f-150 something like that a lariat a king ranch whatever and then you pick up one of these just be aware of that the steering wheel of course nice and comfortable i really like what it has here the truck is very easy to drive let's see what we can do here we're going to get out here and kind of step on it a little bit and see what happens the zero to 60 like i said five a little over five seconds have selectable drive modes and so you can use whatever mode you so choose yeah this this truck pulls really well actually quite torquey to be honest uh, 510 foot pounds of torque I could definitely feel it there when I took my foot off the pedal I could really feel the difference in acceleration and how the truck was handling at that point I, that's a lot of fun I'd like to find a place and I don't know if I can do that here uh, where I'm test driving this right now, or I could just do a, a zero to 60 test and see how it does, but we'll see. But one way or another, I really like the layout. Everything's easy to get to. You have so many great features. There's Wi-Fi connection. The 4G Ford Wi-Fi connection is available with this truck. You have the trailer towing assist, hill descent uh, control. Everything that you could want is going to be here. The, the panoramic sunroof, I really like that. I've got that open right now to try and help with the lighting on the drive here. But uh, going over a little bit of a rough bridge there, but not too bad. I think this truck actually rides better than my daily driving F-150, although that has a lot of miles on it and that makes a difference. But I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with this truck. It's, it's fun to drive and let's face the facts. The main point to buying a Raptor is the performance. And so, you know, let's, let's hit that one more time. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It drives well, it just goes straight. Man, I can't say enough about how much fun this is. So, if you're looking at picking one of these up, I would definitely say that uh, you make a good decision on this. In fact, this very truck, of course, is for sale at Orr Ford here in Stonewall, Louisiana. And uh, yeah, I think you'd, you'd do very well to come in and check one out. If you do, make sure you ask for Showtime. That's my buddy Sean who helps me out with these deals to get into these vehicles and make this possible for me to bring them to you. And that will bring to a close my time with the incredible 2019 Ford Raptor. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. 
This very Raptor, of course, it's for sale. They've got a couple of others here for sale as well here at Orr Ford in Stonewall, Louisiana. If you're interested in getting a great deal on one of these trucks, come down here to Stonewall and ask for Showtime. He'll take good care of you. He's a guy that puts me in these trucks and I really appreciate his help. Make sure to tell him that I sent you his way when you come to see him. Thank you for taking the time to watch Vehicle Visionary today and I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys.